right, here we have my first prototype for a push-pull resistance sled. Uh, so you can see I set it up with just some scrap wood and uh, one of the motors I had laying around. One of the motors I did purchase. It was an MY20, 800 watt. Um, the axles I purchased off eBay. They're just standard go kart axles. You can see here, um, you know, you can disconnect a motor or connect it if you want to add more resistance. And that's kind of why I did the double axle setup. Um, yep, I got the ATG strap. I like what those guys are doing. I wanted to support them, and it's a great strap. I would recommend it. Um, so I set these axles up. Uh, nothing special just lag bolts into the wood uh, you can see there there's some PVC pipe um, just to make up uh, the spot where uh, the brake is missing there's no need for a go-kart brake it's not a go-kart um, yeah it's pretty pretty self-explanatory I think you can kinda just see exactly how it works the motors fight back on you the the harder that you push or pull the more resistance is applied and um, you know you can disconnect the motor if you want less or connect it if you want a little bit more uh, I think it's a cool design it's definitely just my first design but here's a video where you can see uh, I'm just doing some pulls with less resistance just one motor hooked up you can see it's not too hard to pull uh, pretty easy actually and uh, you know I'll do a quick push after this and you'll be able to see um, you know uh, actually I have two motors hooked up on the second on the second pull and push and you can kind of tell the difference in resistance uh, it's it's much harder with two hooked up um, I do have prototype for uh, a new design with one bigger even bigger motor one axle um, and a rheostat so I can hopefully adjust the uh, resistance on the go. Like a, just a little dial that you can adjust the resistance. And, uh, I have to test that out, but hopefully I'll have that uh, design up soon and you guys can take a look. Um, I think all in all this probably costs about, uh, you know, f give or take 450 to build. Uh, I think I can build it for cheaper. I just want it to be successful on this one. So, and I wanted the two the two different um, levels of resistance. So I spent a little bit more on the extra axle. But you can probably build a really good one for about 400 bucks, which is about half of what you can uh, spend if you're out there in the market looking for other types of resistance uh, sleds. So let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, you can blast me if you want. You can give me a compliment. Whatever you think. Uh, happy to hear it. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll probably try to add some links so you can see where I got the uh, parts from. And, you know, if you build your own, let me know. I'd like to see it. All right. Peace.